You always make an emphasis on the group. We're incapable of scrutinizing anything or expressing anything or deciding anything unless it passes through the spiritual state. And I don't know what the spiritual state is. For me, the criterion of the spiritual state is the unification in the group, the bonding of the people in the group, according to the Kabbalistic principles. To the extent to which I can portray it for myself in this world, in our world, there is no other criterion, there is no other example of what does the spiritual mean, the creator, light, bestowal, love, all that is not of our world, where can I find that? Where can I find an example for that? Where can I take it from, from different fantasies, philosophies, mysticism? Where can I take it from? Kabbalists have given me only one condition. If you depict the group in which everyone is connected above their animalistic desires together and their altruistic desire to bond together as one man and one heart, if you will depict that to yourself all the time, at least you'll have some equivalence of form with the spiritual truth that eventually you will reach that way. And there's nothing else in our world. And why is that possible? Specifically because man in our world, besides the egoistic desire, there's also a spark that draws him towards the Creator, draws him towards bestowal, draws him towards love. He starts to understand a bit that such a state exists. Animals don't understand that. Thus, the only place where you can find that example, a certain realization of the spiritual state, is the group. And thus, I'm constantly speaking about it. How else is it possible to depict for yourself spiritual qualities? In our world, in our fantasies, there can be nothing else.